Three nights, three deadly crashes, all involving pedestrians. They took place on different sides of our town. None involved a hit and run. But every family is mourning now a loved one. What might surprise you is just how often people are struck by cars. Our Mary Mills has the numbers and what's now being done to improve pedestrian safety. Nearly five times a week, paramedics in Marion County respond to a pedestrian hit by a car. In 2016, 245 people were struck by vehicles. 11 of them died. We do see a lot of crashes here along Meridian. Kim Irwin is with Health by Design, a group working to make the city safer to walk. We've got these high-speed thoroughfares, lot large distances between safe crossings and lots of destinations. Meaning many people just cut across the street. As this map shows, most crashes occurred downtown or along heavily traveled thoroughfares, with more than half caused by pedestrian action. This is not a blame the victim situation, right? A pedestrian, even if they're wearing dark clothing, even if they are crossing where, it, where it's not safest, um, is still the vulnerable road user. It saddens me and it makes me wa want to be more engaged. Vicki Driver is one of Health by Design's walkability champions. Uh, my son-in-law's uh, mother was hit and a friend of mine's granddaughter was hit. She looks for ways to improve pedestrian safety. Okay, now it's telling us to stop, but we're halfway in the middle of the street. Sand? Educate her neighbors. Make sure if you walk at night that people can see you and cross at the crosswalk. Good morning. Last month, IMPD did a first-time enforcement warning drivers that you're sitting in the crosswalk and pedestrians about the rules of the road. You tell cost when the hand is white. Public Works has also identified pedestrian crash zones, intersections where it's hoped improvements will lessen the risk of injury. Obviously, if there's you know good sidewalks in the area or even putting up the flashing beacons, um, pedestrian crossing signs. Irwin agrees sidewalks and ample well-marked crossings are key. Infrastructure is the single biggest issue. We must be continuing to improve our conditions for people who are walking. And again, the vast majority of Pedestrian crashes happen downtown. Obviously, you have lots of people, lots of cars typically, and everyone in a hurry. The number one cause of the crashes downtown, we're told, would be drivers failing to yield to pedestrians. Anna Scott.